His check on stories we're following for you today on Robin Hood Radio. Our forecast from our meteorologist, Pat Pagano, calls for a sunny to partly cloudy day today with temperatures 45 to 50. And our warm-up will continue uh, into Friday, partly sunny, 50 to 55 degrees. On Saturday, there'll be some late showers, temperatures around 50 to 55. And then Sunday, early showers and sun temperatures once again will be in the mid-50s. We'll take a look at that tri-state forecast. That'll come your way in just a few minutes here on The Breakfast Club on Robin Hood Radio couple of stories out of the Republican American today. Region 1 students' work has revived the Hoosie Art Garage. The Art Garage at Housatonic Valley Regional High School has been revived with students now taking on projects suited to their individual tastes. The space adjacent to the Mahoney Hewitt Science and Technology Center behind the school has been a free art studio since 2005. But its use dwindled during COVID-19 thanks to a group now of adults, including mentors John Brett, Dolores Cohn, Kitty Kiefer, and Holly Reed, and Amanda Sears. The garage is alive again with scores of students displaying their creativity. Funding for the art garage, by the way, comes from grants and an appeal letter. They plan to pursue a nonprofit status. And if you don't know now, they released the information last week, but there's a story about it in this morning's Republican American about Women's Support Services. Women's Support Services has changed their name. Now, the name change comes as a result of what they actually do and what they do in the community and how they do what they do in the community. The name change has been changed to Project SAGE. People who founded Women's Emergency Services 40 years ago recognized the need to mobilize against domestic violence. That created the pathway for victims to get help. In making the announcement, agency officials said that to reflect the client's evolving needs, the name eventually was changed to Women's Support Services in 2011. Educational program was launched in area schools in recognition of the need to address the root causes of interpersonal violence. The recent expansion of programming into all Region 1 6th through 12th grade classes has generated discussion with students who wanted to see a more inclusive name in that organization. The 21st Century Fund for Housatonic Valley Regional High School has been awarded a $10,000 grant from the AT&T Foundation. AT&T's contribution will be used to help FIRST Robotics and Virathon and Electric Car teams meet expenses incurred by students participating in competitions around the state and region. Funds will cover fees, travel expenses, and supplies needed to train students. Electric Car team members uh, create a vehicle that competes with those from other schools during an exercise at Lime Rock Park in Salisbury each year. In New York State, Governor Hochul will be actually inaugurated on January 1st, to start her first full term, she inherited her office after Andrew Cuomo's unceremonious exit last year and won it in her own right on the November 8th election, an unexpectedly narrow victory that made her the first woman to be elected New York governor. On New Year's Day, Kathy Hochul, the Buffalo-bred Democrat who stepped into the spotlight after six and a half years as a lieutenant governor, will be sworn in for a four-year term. Her 2 p.m. inauguration will be streamed live on the governor's website, governor.ny.gov. Also taking their oaths of office are a trio of fellow Democrats who won statewide races, Lieutenant Governor Antonio Delgado, who served, of course, in the Ulster County and Dutchess County area, Attorney Letetta James, and Comptroller Tom DiNapoli. All four are set to speak after being sworn in. Well, if you'd like to get out there and hike uh, at all in our tri-state region, You can start your day off with one of some local first-day hikes, which will be held on Sunday, January 1st. Mount Greylock State Reservation offering an easy-to-moderate hike on the Bradley Farm Trail with an outgoing at 9.30 for the early birds and another at 12.30 recommended for ages 7 and up. The Western Mass Hilltide hikers are hiking to Sanderson Brook Falls at the center of Blanford State Forest, rain or shine, beginning at 10 a.m., the first day winter wildlife tracking and tree identification snowshoe trek at Notchview Tamarack Hollow Nature and Cultural Center will run from 1 until 3. With school break here, 
There's lots of different things you can do with your kids and with your family, especially hiking. New York State Office of Parks and Recreation and Historic Preservation will be offering first-day hikes in 86 different locations on Sunday. Taconic State Park, Route 344, Copic Falls, New York, a three-mile round-trip hike to Bash Bish Falls from Copic Falls Park at 1 p.m. to be followed by hot cocoa and a bonfire. For more information on that, visit Parks ny.gov that's parks.ny.gov crescendo's new concert dates are set of course the weekend concert that was set for this weekend has been postponed and moved because of illness the concerts will be held on january 7th and 8th due to the illness on saturday january 7th 5 30 at trinity lime rock in lakeville and on sunday january 8th 4 p.m at st james place in great barrington tickets and more information available at crescendomusic.org Of course, the Salisbury Winter Sports Association annual junior ski jump camp is happening at Satry Hill on Friday and Saturday on Indian Cave Road in Salisbury, open to children ages 7 and up. It's a two-day event which runs from 9 to 2 each day. The lunch is included in that both days. For more information, 860-806-0471 or email kennethsbarker at gmail.com or go to jumpfest.org. Now, a Baroque Concerto Showcase will be held on Saturday at 6 p.m. at the Mahewe Performing Arts Center. Uh, That is all set. For more information on that and tickets, mahewe.org. Our business brief is underwritten by Morgan's at the Interlaken, where you'll find a tapas menu, a regular menu, and dinner specials nightly, interlakenin.com. You'll also find them on Facebook and Instagram. And by Salisbury Bank, salisburybank.com. The Dow Jones Industrial Average will start off the day today at 33110 the S&P 500 at 3,823.25, and the NASDAQ at 10,850.50. We'll take a look at that tri-state forecast coming up in just a few minutes.